This video will highlight the required settings for optimal graphical performance and provide troubleshooting recommendations for persistent graphics issues. Optimal settings for running visual lighting include Make sure you're using the latest driver for your graphics card Run visual lighting with a dedicated graphics card and have hardware acceleration turned on in the visual lighting program. These optimizations should help with the following issues. Jumpy or slow response with object snap-on, slowness or freezing when using large project files, or the screen intermittently goes black. To verify if you are using the latest driver for your graphics card, we need to open the Device Manager. Select the Windows button from the taskbar, and then Settings. Search for and open Device Manager. Expand the Display Adapter section, and double-click on your dedicated graphics card. Under the Driver tab, you can see which version you currently have installed and when it was last updated. Next, use your internet browser to search for the graphics card manufacturer's website. The name of your graphics card and manufacturer can be found on the Properties window. Compare driver versions with the latest release on the website to see if you need to download and install a new driver. The next optimization is to have visual lighting run using a dedicated graphics card. This step is specific to NVIDIA graphics cards, so you'll need to open the NVIDIA control panel. On your computer's desktop, right-click and select the NVIDIA control panel. Select the Manage 3D Settings section if you aren't already there, and select the Program Settings tab. You'll need to add the software to the list. So uncheck the Show Only Programs found in this computer box, and select Add. Find the Visual 2.11 executable, select it, and click Add Selected Program. Use the drop-down menu to select a High Performance option, and click Apply. Lastly. Make sure to run visual lighting with the hardware acceleration setting in the program turned on. You can confirm whether it's activated by launching visual lighting, and once you're inside a new or current project, select the Tools tab, and then Settings. Under the Display category, make sure the box for Use Hardware Acceleration is checked. If not, check the box and select OK. If you make any changes, you'll need to close and restart the program for those changes to take effect. With these steps complete, you're now running visual lighting fully optimized. If after performing these changes, you're still having these issues, or if you don't have a dedicated graphics card, we recommend you disable the hardware acceleration in the visual lighting settings. If you're still having issues after turning off hardware acceleration, contact Visual Support at support at visual-3d.com or use the toll-free number at 1-800-279-8043.